First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rokak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim and you, Akwa, they believe in all sincerity. This is going to be another edition of comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. And today I have a photograph of two candles. Okay, and the caption on the bottom says, Do not underestimate the power of connection. Okay. And the thing about these two candles, okay, starting with the one on the right, you know, the wick. Okay, the wick, it, you know, it looks like a man. Okay, but, but the man, okay, you know, he seems to be uh, extinguished. Okay, his, his flame is not on. His head is down. Okay, while the candle on the left, okay, it also seems, you know, like a man. Yet his flame is on. Okay, and he's a he's reaching out to touch, you know, the, the other man, okay, you know, but in this case, you know, as you see it's it's a candle, okay, and, and I thought that was very spiritual. You know, we must not under underestimate the power of connection, okay? And we're all connected in this thing of ours, you know. You know, the scriptures um speak about a a spiritual house offering uh you know, spiritual sacrifices, okay? And we must not underestimate the power of connection, okay? The power of the brotherhood, okay? Uh, the power of the, the gospel, okay? That, that other men hold, okay? Through the spirit and party, how about Shemiel Shai? You know, being around the brotherhood, listening to videos, okay, going to camp, you know, just being in this in this truth, you know, it, it, it always, you know, revitalizes you, especially when you're down, especially when you feel like you're extinguished in the spirit, you know. We all go through things, we all catch hell, but um, it ain't not like coming around the brothers and, and hearing some sound wisdom, some, some counsel, okay, and being, uh, you know, you know, lit up in the spirit, okay? And, 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 and brothers know what I'm saying, you know, it happens. It happens to us that, um, you know, when you're going through hell, like the brother Awar in the camp says, uh, hell on wheels, you know, and you come around the brothers, man, and, you know, brothers just start uh, quoting scripture and, and, you know, And telling you things that you need to hear, not 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 that you want to hear, right? You know, and that that uh that sparks something in you. You know, it, you know, scriptures say. Matter of fact, we'll start there first. Hebrews ten and twenty four, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works and that's really what um you know the brotherhood is about you know the brotherhood is about um provoking one another okay to love and to good works okay and love comes in in many forms okay and love comes in in in, in forms of, of of charity all right but it also comes in in rebuke in counsel and wisdom Okay, and long suffering and forbearing one another, right? It says, not forsaking the assembling of yourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. So we're not to uh, forsake the assembling, okay, of ourselves. Okay, we're supposed to congregate, you know, come around when, um, when need be, okay, because that's what, uh, um, the spirit is, is, is ultimately about, okay. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai is of, is of gathering, gathering of the elect. Okay. The scriptures speak about those that separate themselves, not being in the spirit. And you know, and you notice that when you don't come around, it's cause you ain't in the spirit, you know, something is not, um, something's not right. Right. So. And that's the manner of some, but see, we have to, uh, 
you know, exhort one another to, uh, you know, to come together, okay? Because we must not un underestimate the power of connection, right? It says, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. So as we see, you know, the day of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai getting closer and closer, you know, we, we, have, we have to congregate even more, okay? Because there's power in numbers. The you know, scriptures say, when two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Okay. And um, when I seen this uh, this photograph, it reminded me of this scripture here in Ecclesiastes 4 and 11. Okay, and at the end it says, but how can one be warm alone? Okay, but how can one be warm alone? And that's a question, you know, how can one be warm alone? You know, it, it, it takes a lot, you know, to be self-motivated and, and you should be. But, you know, how much the more, okay, when, 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 you know, there's a body, when there's, there's a, there's a brotherhood, you see, so. You know, when I saw that, I uh, you know, reminded me of this scripture. But I'm I'm a start in Ecclesiastes. Let's see, four and nine. It says two are better than one. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall. The one will lift up his fellow. You see? So if one falls, the other will lift up. Okay, the one that has fallen. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth. And that's why it's not good to, you know, to forsake the assembling. Okay, because um, there's a lot of counsel, there's a lot of wisdom among brothers. And, and you know, when, when one is not around, he misses all that. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he has not another to help him up, right? So we, we must not forsake the assembling of ourselves, man. You know, we must take opportunity, you know, and, and, and be in that spirit, you know, be in that spirit of, of coming together, you know. And, and you know, it'd it be the flesh. It'd be the flesh, you know, making you not want to come around or whatever the case, you know. But, you know, we got to fight that, that flesh and be spiritual, you know, that's the spirit to be in, you know, adding, you know, what what is Jake saying in the world? You know, uh, uh, you know, we, we, you know, we building, you know, we, we edifying. OK, it says again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? And, and you know, this scripture reminds me of, uh, you know, being out in the cold, you know. Uh, if you ever been, you know, in, in a car, you know, with another person, you know, uh, uh, the w the windows get foggy. It gets warm in there, right? Or even if you you know been in a tent, been sleeping out in in, in the wilderness, you know, it, it's better to uh, lie close to someone because you know you you can uh, you you know you you, you can create uh, body heat. Right. But if you're by yourself, you know, how can you be warm? Right. But how can one be warm alone? You know. Do not underestimate the power of connection. We have to stay connected not only to Yahweh by Shem Shai, but to the body. OK. And, and, and their spiritual message is going out that keeps us connected that keeps us um in order keeps us in line right it says but how can one be warm alone right and how can one be warm alone you know seeing the circumstances that, that we're in you know uh even how was shy uh needed someone to help him you know uh carry his cross you know and although we may you know all men carry their own burden. <clears throat> you 
you know, the, you know, uh, or better yet, the scriptures say, um, every man shall bear his own cross. That's what I meant to say. But it also says, uh, bear ye one another's burdens. Okay. So there's, there's a balance. There's, there's, there's wisdom in, in, in that, right? It says, and if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. And I was looking this up in the NLT, and it says, a person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Okay? And, and that's how we have to be, you know? Shoulder to shoulder, you know? throwing blows so to speak okay a person standing alone can be attacked and defeated but two can stand back to back and conquer you know there's strength in numbers you know it says there are e oh, let's see it says three are even better for a triple braided cord is not easily broken so that it's telling you right there you know, three is even better, okay? So it's, it, you know, it's good to have that, uh, you know, that corner, you know, and, and, and the brotherhood is, is your corner, right? <clears throat> so we must never underestimate the power of connection, you know, we have to stay plugged in, you know, especially, you know, seeing the times that we're in. You know, and we went into it the other day, you know, uh, we're living in a, in a hateful world, you see, we're living in a world, it's it's really like doggy dog out in the world when you really look at it, okay, so we got to uh, stay positive, you know, especially around the Akim and fight, okay. And that's how we fortify the... Uh, the stronghold, you know, if, if everyone is in unison fighting, you know, together, you know, striving uh, for, for one cause, which is the truth, okay? So, just something, you know, something quick, you know, or well, then it was edifying. You know, it's another addition of comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. And, uh, you know, I, li I like this uh, this picture, you know. And, and oftentimes uh, I'll see a picture or I'll see a, an audio or a movie clip or something, you know. And I'll extrapolate the spiritual significance, you know. And, and, and uh, the guy on the right, he, he you know, he, his flame went out. You can see on top of his head, he just got a... The smoke is coming out of his head. He, you know, he he extinguished. But yet, you know, that man, you know, behind him, so to speak, in this picture, where he he he, you know, he about to, you know, light light him back up. He's reaching out and he about to to touch him to get uh, you know, back in the spirit, <laughs> you know. So, I thought this was uh something worth doing a video. Lord willing, it was uh it was edifying through the spirit. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rokakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim and you, Akwat, that believe in all sincerity. Shalom.